Glory has company and it is Trapper Peak coming there to challenge as they draw towards two out Bannock Town Glory and Trapper Peak and they are trying to kick on from out Crop Tango Echo Charlie Amber Rose Leo Star only fool's own horses and heading down towards the last Bannock Town Glory and Trapper Peak precious little in it they were in orbit together a furlong left to go Bannock Town Glory far side near side is Trapper Peak they've got about four lengths on out Crop only fool's own horses is staying on Leo Star is staying on, but in the run to the line, Bannock's Town Glory is dashing right away to win in the hands of Theo Gillard. Bannock's Town Glory, the winner. Trapper Peak and Leo Star for place from John Joe O'Neill Jr. 10 out of 10 there. Heading down towards the final fence then. It's back on the lash. Bar Baron de Middleton to the inside. Who shot the Sheriff on the wide outside trying to rally Gary Claremont. Phlegmatic, meanwhile, cheekily up the inside. A wide open affair inside the last 100 yards. It's Phlegmatic back on the lash. Who shot the Sheriff as they go close home. Phlegmatic to the far running rail. Who shot the Sheriff running on? Phlegmatic the winner. Who shot the Sheriff second back on the last third? Then replay. They are disputing it for places, but Stoner's choice didn't get very high at the second last and was picked up by Max Kendrick. They're on the run down towards the last hurdle. It's Stoner's choice by three lengths. Bass Rock is the one giving chase. Stoner's choice there over the last hurdle. That was a better leap that time. A furlong left to go. It's Stoner's choice in in front by three to three or four lengths over Bass Rock in second. Uh, these are being followed home by instant replay, but Stoner's Choice will collect. Survived a bit of a hairy jump at the second last, but Stoner's Choice is the winner. Second place, Bass Rock. Instant replay is third. On the run down towards the last, this is armchair, armchair stuff for Brian Hughes. Mackenberg by about three lengths from you name him at the final flight. The uh, leader just steadied into it, just clipped the top of it. On the run in, now a shake of the rein for Mackenberg. You name him's got three lengths to find. Big Jim Dwyer, best of the rest. Then she's a rocker. Locken unable to land a blow. And it is Mackenberg. Quite impressive performance this from Mackenberg. Mackenberg wins with authority. Second place, you name him. Third goes to Big Jim Dwyer. Final furlong and a half. Pookie Pecan caught dreaming now with a big effort. And Pop Rockstar to the wide outside. That was the final fence. Caught dreaming. Now moving into a narrow advantage. Just edges right handed. Just slightly takes the ground there. Of Pookie Pecan. And inside the final hundred, it's Caught dreaming. But Pop Rockstar coming to the outside. Caught dreaming from Pop Rockstar. Who's finishing with a rare rattle. It's close. Caught dreaming and Pop Rockstar. Looks now like Brian Follow. And then Pookie No on the run down towards the final. Furlong or so one to jump. And Sarasota Stars got the lead. Just edges right handed. Forces Barry's Jack to switch. But Barry's Jack is now two lengths down. The Navigator under pressure to quicken up back in third place. Bestiarius was a faller at the final flight. They're on the run in. It's Sarasota Star the leader. And Sarasota Star is about five or six lengths in. Extending the lead and powers away in the hands of Richard Johnson. Sarasota Star wins for the first time over Timber, Barry's Jack second back in third and keeping on was Wakul from the fence, last tune from Halcyon Days, over on the far side Shetland Buzz, then Wolf Catcher Valence Dormont, on the wide outside just call me out, less than a furlong to go and last tune is the one to catch and last tune has gone about five or six lengths clear of Valence Dormont back in second place, last tune now beginning to tie up, maybe idly last tune goes on to win for the inform Mike Smith Last tune asked the winner, Valence Dormont second, Wolf Catcher and Just Call Me Al cross the line together for place. Now in the clear, switching to their inside is no risk to flow. A furlong and a half left to go. Locked down Luke Warrior's story and no risk to flow. It's about a length and a half down. And then staying on down the centre's peaking rose inside the final furlong. It's locked down Luke, no risk to flow. Warrior story, here's peaking rose rushing home down the outside. Peaking rose now grabs the lead from locked down Luke and it's peaking rose and pa Paddy Brennan and Fergal O'Brien again. Peking Rose the winner. A second place goes to lockdown.